Okay, hopefully this is working, hopefully you can hear me. Um, this is me playing Throne and Liberty on the Singapore server. Um, I've just taken some contracts. The contracts are these items here. Uh, yes, you can see them here. As well. I have a little one man guild called One and All, and I'm trying to level it up a little bit um, to get to level two so I can set up my own little guild shop and do lots of little guild things in this game Throne of Liberty. I'm currently only playing this game by myself, only in PvE. Um, just as a third MMO, just for a bit of fun, that there's a very good chance that when when the Amazon Steam version of this game goes live, I will swap to that. Um, the number one reason for that is that the cutscenes on the Singapore version are not voice acted, and it takes away so much of the actual immersion of the game by doing that. Uh, it's fine for everything else except the cutscenes and the immersion and I want to experience those things um, done that way. So I'm probably going to restart in September on the Amazon Steam version and as such um, this, this is only just for me to play but I'm on the Singapore I'm on the Singapore server um, and what I'm about to do is jump off a cliff. Watch this. I'm now a bird. And I'm flying down to where these quest item, these contract items are. I'll fly down to this one that was by itself first. The silver mineral pouch. Now Hitting P, I've got two weapons, I've got my bow and I've got my sword. I'm currently level blah, blah, 18. I've put most of my points into strength, a few into perception. Um, I'm going to arm a lot, apologies. They're the skills that I have and they're the skills that I've put on my toolbar. The, the bit at the bottom is effectively your toolbar. So I've got a defensive skill, I've got my offensive skills, and I've got my passive skills set up. And each one of these skills you can individually level up. So I can go like that. And if I've got books, I can actually level up each of the individual skills. Okay, so that explains that. Can't do specialization yet, you have to be level 25. Uh, what else can I show? I've, I've rebound all the keys, so I let's say character info. You've, you've just seen that uh, skills you've seen this codex, which this is the adventure. I've as you can see, I've done the first three chapters, probably one and two. I'm on part three. Uh, I'm actually oh no just idiot um, I'm at that point of part three so I've got to meet that guy at that place this and this shows you the history of what I've already done how awesome is that how awesome is that as a way to go back and say where the hell was I up to uh, they've done a brilliant job of this absolutely brilliant this um, these are exploration, so these are in each particular zone. Or what else? What other quests are there? And this is the law, and you can go back and you can read it whenever you want. Um, I've got one of three of that one, for example. It's beautifully made. It looks beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, it's running. I'm getting about 150p. I think. Now, there's one thing I don't like, 
is that you have to hit X to swap your auto attack weapon. I'll, I'll explain why in a minute. But let's start by hitting 1 to root that item. 2 to shoot at it. It's still rooted. It's going to come at me at some point. See, I've got my auto attack set to the bow at the moment. Um, what I could do is have my auto attack set like that. So if I then do this, I can kind of run at the mob because then it defaults to the auto attack and makes me run at it, which I hate because I want to stay ranged and have the mobs come to me. But when it does come to me, I want to melee it. Oh, I just noticed something that I need to adjust. So, what I have to do is I've map change weapon to X. So, I default to the bow for my change weapon. Um, and when it gets close, I toggle it to X. Wait, toggle it with X to the sword. Which I don't want to do. I want it to do that by default. I reckon the last skill that you use should be what it toggles to. Um, by default or at least have a toggle to allow me to set it up that way. That would be very good, very clever. And everything else is done so well, why not do that? Um, maybe I just haven't thought of that. Um, what I need to do is hit K, and I've just swapped from having a wand as my second weapon to my sword, but I haven't put skills in yet. So what I want to do is put skills into the toolbar. So I'll put that one there, that one there. Now I'm deliberately leaving this dash one to the near the end because I I don't want to use it at the start. And I've I've got swift healing and nature's blessing here. Now I can't use them because um, uh, yeah, I can still use Nature's Blessing, which is increase health regen. I can't use Swift Heal because I'm not using the wand as one of my two primary weapons now. So I'll change that to the Earthquake. Um, my passive skills, I've only got one of them set up now because I need to... That's the bow one, I need to put in sword ones again. That gives me health regen, that's sweet. Um, that, that's not a good idea. Restore 9 health after doing damage. I, I, like, I like being a paladin. Um, so now I've also mapped lock to tab. Fighting this mob at range, I'm just sort of attacking now, knowing that I can kill it without having to melee. Now I'll swap to melee, so I'll, I'll swap to X and auto attack with X, but then use some of my sword skills to just give it a bit of a thumb, and then I have to hit X to toggle back to making bow my auto attack weapon so that I don't run towards the mob when I auto attack. Now let's go through that again. One, two for my big hit after it's rooted, three for another hit that does something, four as the triple hit. Oh! Now I'm going to hit X so that I'm told to my melee weapon and then use the melee skills. Nice. Nice. So I hit X to toggle back to making the bow my default weapon. I'm just saying that to remind myself to do it as much as anything. 
One, three, oh. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Why did a mob instantly appear right next to them when I did that? I don't understand. I feel like I'm lagging. I feel like I'm lagging. I feel like I need to hit X to make this my default weapon. And I feel like I need to melee stuff. How's my health? My health is still good. How do I know I'm getting health back when I do damage? I'm not seeing the little light numbers. That's cool. Now, see, because, because I see those little yellow pentagons, I, I know that they're the mobs that I want to focus on. I'm just going to melee for a minute. So let's go 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't want to use the dash. Deliberately put on nine. And what you'll see if I hit H to just freeze the screen and release my mouse, you should see. Yeah, I've killed six out of twelve of those, and I've got the sim silver mineral pouch. Got some skins, so I'm, I'm doing contracts. Okay, and when a contract is complete, it's just, you don't have to go and hand it in, it just instantly completes. That's my guild, um, my guild contract, and that's the main story quest. I don't know if anyone else, no, I'll just quickly check that no one else is asking me anything. I'm just planning to put this on YouTube. Um, just in case anyone wants, anyone that I play other MMOs with um, wants to see a bit of this. Um, now let me step back in with some spiders. See I've got rooted, um, which allows me to fight out of range. I hit X to swap back to bow. I want to melee it up, so I'll swap back to there. I'll wait for the cooldown to finish on the route. Hit one to root it. Two. Hit damage. Four is already done. So now tooth. Tooth. Where is it? Where, is it? Where am I seeing teeth? Not seeing teeth. Maybe that's another quest that I'm just not showing. Not the quest part. So let, let's just do some light for a minute. Nope. Let's just accidentally pull a second mob. Let's just auto attack this mob. Health is still good. Now my dash is nine. There, that's my dash skill. And you don't want to use that while you're actually in the middle of a fight, which is why I put it right at the end of my toolbar. Just, you know, why would you? But what I could do is hit nine, get over here, X to my bow, stay out of range, Go back and root again. <laughs> no, I rooted the wrong mob. Use my big damage. Oh, this other one's still hitting me. Right, that, that's lag because I'm streaming. It's normally not that bad. It's just that I'm trying to run the streaming tool at the same time and this game uses maximum CPU for me so by streaming at the same time it's compromising the CPU that's available for the game. So I will keep the stream very short. This is just a quick demo in case anyone wants to actually see it. Um, I'll turn off the stream after I finish one of the contracts. I'm just randomly 
doing stupid stuff. My health is still okay. Right, let's swap to it. See, when you choose a skill on your toolbar that requires your other weapon, it swaps to the other weapon, but it doesn't change your default weapon. So, I've rooted that. Done my big damage. Done my number three damage. That I can't remember what a switch is. That's number four damage, and it's fine. That's done. That wasn't a contract item. This is a contract item. So, wait for my cooldown. Root it. Do big damage. Do my big damage. My three damage. My four damage. And it's gone before it gets to me. Awesome. I've done five. I've got five out of eight fangs. So the tooth was a fang. Okay. Um, I've killed 11 out of 12 for my contract. One more. One. Root it. Two, big damage. Three, other damage. Four. Up, right click. See that, that right, that purple is telling you to parry. Um, and that's contract finished. Purple is saying parry, 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 parry. And when that circle gets to be small, that is when your parry must be up. I've mapped my parry to my route right mouse button route. I right mouse button key, so which is what I set it to in all games that allow me to parry. Um, X to make the sword nut. I want the bow as the main one. What do I still need? I need two more spaders. There's a spider. Oh, I'm not targeting it, so I am targeting it. One. Rooted. Big damage. Third damage. Fourth damage. Melee damage. Nice. That's one more tooth. Uh, hello, boy. What are you doing today in my space? LA skills. Okay, I need one more spider. So default X to swap my default weapon back to bow so that I don't run straight up to the spider in between the cooldowns of the big heads. Root. Big damage. Three damage. Four damage. Melee. Skills. Melee, 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 melee. Tooth. Contract done. Awesome. Still got two other contracts. Not exactly sure where they are. I've got a guild quest flashing at me on the mini map. 82 metres away. Can I get there without. So I hit X and I turn into an animal that runs fast. Rather than get on a mount, you become the animal that runs fast. Ah, oh, dude, that's the guy I need to talk to. I heard about a goblin attack and who said that? Was it a goblin again? Don't waste your time and energy. Be on your way. Be on your way. Speak to Laslan Watch Lieutenant Ivor. Ivor. I'll speak to you. The captain doesn't believe what the goblin says. It's because of something that happened 10 years ago. I don't know the details. I'm voice acting this for you because it's not working, which is why I'm probably going to swap back to the Amazon Steam server later. Unless they patch this server with the voice acting from the Amazon Steam, which we played in the open beta. Anyway, the goblins have been acting strange these days. The shaman goblins are frequenting the area and using suspicious magic I've never seen before. Ugh, the captain would, would believe me if there was some clear evidence. 
Apparently important documents have been placed in a goblin shaman's chest. Could you look for something in there? What, what am I going to say? No. The shamans have a chest that is supposed to be located near the Estella Fields Monument Stone. Okay, please go have a look. Yes, person that's paid to fight stuff for a living, I'll go and fight stuff on your behalf. See, there's some little mushrooms on the mini map. Um, anyway, because I'm in the safe spot, that is the end of my stream. How long did I? How long did this run for? Twenty-one minutes. That's not enough. Um, now I'm stopping it because I, I don't want to talk. Um, oh, I'll show you something. I can stand here. I think I can stand here. I can stand here. I like this fire. No, I can't. I'm not going to show you that because I can't do it unless it's just lagging because I'm streaming. I'm not sure. But you can light fires. And uh, what else can I show you? Uh, I've got a leveling log. So I've raided camouflage. I've killed five mobs. So that gives me an upgrade to. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. So. Uh, Lithcraft book, no, oh, oh, I've got a spider silk crossbow, I can add to my lith lithograph, which means that once you've collected all those three items, you can claim those items, yeah, but you lose those items in the process, but I like that, it's a, it's a great way to update stuff, got a battle pass, on the battle pass I have completed a resistance contract that gives me 30 googly googlies uh, doesn't quite take me to level 3 on this other battle pass which you see on this battle pass you get the premium that's the basic battle pass on this battle pass which lasts for another 18 days if you want the premium you have to pay for it I ain't doing that I ain't doing that. So I only get that track. But what I have done is complete a resistance contract. Awesome. Defeat monsters. Awesome. Defeat more monsters. Awesome. Another resistance contract. I'm just seeing, I'm just watching this grow. Um, use world tree leaves for your little pet that flies around with you takes your world tree leaves and uses them to heal you. So it's a, your pocket healer. So that's the daily things I've done. The weekly things I've done is none. The always things I've done are uh, complete contract, yes. Yes, so that's given me that, right? Because it's got more shiny, shiny. So Stellarite. Stellarite is something you can equip to your weapon to do more damage. Um, so, okay, I've done battle pass that. Uh, I can click on this, I can see in my inventory that's the all button that I've got more of those things I can right click on them and equip them to my weapon so that it does the extra damage when I do stuff, that's everything else that's in there, I can add that which increases mastery on my weapon I can make a new weapon once I go back to somewhere I can make a weapon uh, there was something else I was going to show you. Oh yeah, upgrades. If I go in here, for each of my items, I can click on it and see if I've got upgrades I can do. Yes, I can upgrade my sword. Um, so do that. Use one book and it got me to 35%. Use another book, it cost 400 gold as well. And I can hold it for this one. And it got me a full level. So it's increased the level of my sword, so it's now doing that damage, and I get that health from it. Now, the leveling process is the books that it uses to level are the same for all weapons, so it, uh, that's a, like a global upgrade. The armor ones are separate. I've only got one of those though, so I'm not going to be able to upgrade 
any of my armor things unless I only need one book, which the boots only need one book at this stage. So I can go like that and I get 35% an upgrade on the boots. Um, that's used uh, as armor. Belt is an accessory with jewelry. So, and I've got 13 of those books. Now, the other thing I can do is go continue until next level. So it will use multiple books until I've leveled. And see, I'll go from 80 to 90 magic defense, 80 to 90 ranged evasion, and bump up my health regen as well. So let me just do that. See, it used two books to get me to level three. Now, do I want to take that to level four or do I want to bump up to one of my other items here, I've still got seven of the books, that's still a zero. I'm assuming that the early ones do more. Continue to the next level. One, two, that's used three of my books to get that to level one. I've still got four and it uses two for each level. Let's do it, one, two. So that's used all of my books, that's almost a level two item. So that's progression. Um, I'm carrying around three weapons. Uh, that's the armor that I'm wearing. It's all E is equipped. So the only thing I'm carrying around that's not equipped, which is upgradable, is my wand. Because here, see, there's a wand. Um, I actually have a crossbow as well, but it's not uh, an upgradable one, it's just a basic one. So I could, in theory, just go like that, putting the crossbows. But I won't, I'll put my sword back in. Um, so that shows you some stuff. Codex, battle pass, but what's what? Oh, I've spent things, so that gives me of that. I can't stand having red dots unclicked. Skills. What's... Oh yeah, I can level some skills I guess. Uh, I like having the root skill ensnaring arrow. Okay, so ensnaring arrow, big damage, decisive sniping. It's probably got a longer range. Three is Zephyr's Knock. Deal damage equal to 290% of base damage plus 34. Consumes all the target stacks to amplify the damage by 5% per stack. I can't actually remember what a stack is. But I want this root one upgraded as much as possible. No, I can't upgrade that. So why was it giving me a little red dot somewhere? I'm not sure. Still there? No, it's not. Okay. Anyway, um, you saw some combat, you saw the upgrade, you saw the UI. Um, you've seen a little bit of Throne and Liberty. I mainly play in Bizarre Drift, I play a little bit of WoW, uh, and I play a little bit of this. Thank you. I have to alt tab to swap to the stream ending camera. Okay, see ya.